properties of two straight line. We need to know if the two straight line are perpendicular, then we can use dot product. Vector 1 dot vector 2 is equal to 0. And if the two line is parallel, then we have three properties we can use. It is either V1 equal to KV2 or number 2 which is dot product V1 dot V2 equal to magnitude V1 magnitude V2 or V1 dot V2 equal to negative of magnitude V1 magnitude V2. So if the answer is a positive, then the two vectors are in the same direction. If it is equal to a negative value, then the two vectors are opposite direction. And the third properties is by using cross product which is V1 cross V2 equal to zero vector. So you can use either one. Okay. Example two. Show that the line one and the line two are perpendicular if line one equal to R1 equal to I plus J plus K plus T to I minus J minus K. And the line 2, the equation is R2 equal to 3i minus j plus 2k plus t times i minus 2j plus 4k, where t is our scalar. So here, this is our line equation in terms of vector equation. So we need to know where is the vector. So the vector is after the scalar. So this is our V1, then this is our V2. As I told before, for any equation, we need to know where is our vector. So assume we can assume that V1 is equal to 2i minus j minus k and vector 2 is equal to i minus 2j plus K. So here, the question asks for show that the two lines are perpendicular. From this property, we know that the two lines are perpendicular if vector 1 dot vector 2 is equal to 0. We can show that the value is equal to 0. So this is our vector 1 and vector 2. So try to do the dot product for vector 1 and vector 2. So we have here 2 negative 1 negative 1 dot with 1 negative 2 4. So it is equal to 2 times 1 is 2 plus negative 1 times 2 is 2 plus negative 1 times 4 is equal to negative 4. So the answer is equal to 0. Therefore, we can conclude that line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular. Example 3, given that line P and Q have parametric equation, so this is for line P. Line P in terms of parametric equation, this is for line Q in terms of parametric equation and this is equation R in terms of Cartesian equation. Question A is show that P and Q are parallel. B find the acute angle between Q and R. Okay, so for question A, show that P and Q are parallel. Now relate to these properties. Okay, so now we have three methods to solve question A, to show question A. It is either by using the first properties, okay, the first one, by using the first one, or by using dot product. Properties 
or by using cross product properties. So you can choose either one. So for this example, using um, two methods. Okay. For, question, for equation line P. So this is your equation line P. So the equation in terms of parametric, which is x is equal to negative 1 plus 2s and y equal to 1 minus 2s and z is equal to 1 plus 4s. Now determine where is our vector. So the vector is uh, the coefficient for s which is 2, negative 2 and 4. So the vector is 2i minus 2j plus 4k. So now for the line q. So for the line q, we have parametric which is x minus x is equal to 1 minus t, y equal to t, z is equal to 3 minus 2t. So assuming that vector 2 is equal to negative i plus j minus 2k which is the coefficient of our t coefficient for our t so we already have v1 v2 now we are showing the p and q are parallel by using v1 equal to lambda v2 here, write down our vector in matrix form. So we have V1 is 2, negative 2, and 4. And here we have lambda V2 is negative 1. 1, negative 2. So, by comparing for the component i. So, now we trying to find component i. Okay. For the component i, we have 2 equal to negative lambda. So, therefore, lambda is equal to negative 2. Okay. Then comparing the component J, we have negative 2 equal to lambda. And for the component K, we have 4 equal to negative 2 lambda. So we have lambda equal to negative 2. So here we can show that the lambda is exists and it is unique. Okay, so therefore, lambda is equal to negative 2 and it is unique. So we have only one value of lambda. Therefore, P and Q are parallel. Or we can use v1 cross v2 finding the v1 cross v2 show that it is equal to zero lambda so this is also can be used so finding the v1 cross v2 cross product so this is i j k then the coefficient for vector 1 which is 2 negative 2 4 and negative 1 1 negative 2 so this is equal to i minus j plus k we have done before finding the v1 cross v2 eliminate the first row and the first column we have 4 minus 4 
eliminate the first row and the second column we have negative 4 minus minus becomes 4 and eliminate the first row and the third column we have 2 minus 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 2 so the answer is equal to 0 i minus 0 j minus 0 j plus 0 k so we can show that v1 cross v2 equal to 0 vector therefore p e and q are parallel so this is second method Assume this is our first method. So you can use either, either one. 